Okay guys, welcome back to Baddest Media Production Season 4. In this episode I'm going to be looking at ways to approach a live action version of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Now I'm just going to say this. I remember when The Walking Dead spin-off was announced and that was announced I think 2013 or something like that. I got super excited about that because I was actually a fan of The Walking Dead when the TV show when that was announced and I thought I was also a fan of the Telltale series but I was more a fan of the Telltale series compared to the actual TV show so I instantly got excited and I instantly jumped to conclusions when I heard about the spin-off I thought to myself oh my god it's gonna be based on the Telltale series oh my god and I kind of freaked out and then of course it turns out you know it ended up being Fear of the Walking Dead you know the most original name for a spin-off TV show ever Oh no, let's put fear in front of the Walking Dead and, you know, we'll sell it out. But I want to talk about how they should approach a live action version of Telltale's The Walking Dead. Okay, firstly, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to talk about how they should approach Season 1 rather than Season 2. I think that can be another video, another video or <laughs> I think talk about Season 1 alone, that should be okay. Okay, so... I'm going to try and do this with as least spoilers as possible. Okay, so first off, I think uh, Sean Vanneman, who he wrote the first episode and he directed the first episode of, of season one, and he also he wrote the final episode. So Sean, I mean, he was one of the best writers that they had, and he should be definitely worked, working on the show. I know a consultant, maybe as a writer for the show. I don't think he should be a showrunner for the show. I mean... It would be amazing, and I think it'd be just a massive middle finger if they actually got Frank Darren Bond to actually do be a showrunner for Telltale's The Walking Dead. And it would be amazing, and I, I would totally approve of that. But I think Neil Cross, he's a great writer who done, of course, Luther, and he done episodes of Doctor Who. I think he should actually be the showrunner for Telltale's The Walking Dead, the TV show. I think he would be great because with Luther it's really edgy drama and there's a lot of conflict in it and it's a really performance heavy show but we've all seen he's done stuff like Doctor Who which was kind of like horror and fantasy based so he's got a great combination boat and he'd be a perfect showrunner for the show. He also done, he wrote the screenplay for Mama which is a pretty good horror film. I enjoyed it for what it is and I think he'd be great for a showrunner for the show. So how should the TV show, you know, stretch out? Like, I think it should be 10 episodes long because the, the game series, of course, was five episodes long. Each episode was about an hour and a half long, maybe slightly longer. So if season one was 10 episodes long, it would cover a lot of what we've seen as part of the, in the game. So that would be really cool. And in terms of the choices, I think the choices should be implied into the actual storyline. Like choices that we made as the gamer made should be kind of inserted into the storyline of the actual the, the show but I think they should mainly go for the most popular choices of the actual the game the, the, the ones that we the gamers chose over the other options but either put an interesting spin on them a, a fresh twist on them rather than having it exactly the same basically maintain a lot of some of the choices but take a different spin on them don't have the choices exactly the same word for word the same take a more original spin to it that way i mean the gamers who played the game and they would appreciate they get the choices that's seen on, on the TV screen, they get that. They would get that, they would appreciate a little reference, a little nod to the choices that they'd made and don't have it exactly the same because that way the choices, they've seen it before in game form, they don't have to see it again in a live action form. And of course, the new audience would greatly appreciate the new fresher narrative as well, actually. So in terms of the narrative, I think they should focus more on it being a character-driven piece rather than, of course, a survival piece that The Walking Dead AMC The Walking Dead is. It being a character-based story with Flemington Lee, that would really work. And that's what we all fell in love with, the, the concept of that storyline, that character dynamic. And that would be really great to see. I also think that they should really, it should match um, the Walking Dead, AMC's The Walking Dead in terms of like content, in terms of how gritty and graphic it can be. I mean, it shouldn't 
should not soften the corners in any way. I mean, in Telltale's The Walking Dead, it was pretty gritty. There was cannibals, there was, you know, evil humans, you know, there was bandits. It wasn't exactly a PG-13 experience, so it shouldn't hold back on its on its violence. And I mean, it's a TV show. I mean, you, a TV show can get around with so much more than, you know, a movie. So they should definitely go that direction. And plus, it's a zombie drama. It's not um, W teen drama. It's not none of that. It's not a teen drama. It's not, you know, soap. It's a proper awesome some zombie drama and they should focus on that focus on an edge to it i also think that it should appreciate the smaller moments that the the game does i mean the game isn't really entirely you know dark i mean there's smaller moments where you you appreciate how that clementine is in fact a kid at the time and they should really go into that direction and go into the fact that she's a kid she's a child and she's grown up in the world or zombies and they should replay it into that direction and I think they should appreciate going to have a, a sense of humor to it but not overdriven like I mean there's moments where Lee can be kind of witty and funny with his interactions with people and interaction with objects Flemton can be funny with all her pranks that she done to duck even Kenny has his humorous moments and they should really play into that factor too I'm not actually gonna go into casting I think that's another thing I'll do in a later video I'm just going to talk about writing and how they should do the story. So if you guys want to talk about the, the casting and writing, put in the comment section below. I will definitely comment on, on, on any of them or reply to any of them. And that's just my opinion on how they should approach Telltale's The Walking Dead as a TV show. And thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see.